It's July 14th, so happy National Tape Measure Day from all of us here at Blinds.com. I've got seven amazing hidden features of tape measures to share with you, and I promise after you hear these, you'll never look at a tape measure the same way again. Number one, you may notice that tape measures all have a little notch in the end. What this is used for, if you're measuring something and don't have a friend to hold the other end of the tape measure, you can just put a nail or a screw in the wall right where you want to measure from, and you can hook the notch right onto it and it'll hold your tape measure for you. Number two, many tape measures have a serrated edge. If you're measuring and you don't have a pencil or something to mark your place with, you can just measure where you want to and then use that edge to scratch the wall a little bit and um, scribe exactly where your mark is. Number three, you may have also noticed that the metal end of tape measures moves back and forth just a little bit. The reason for this is to make sure that your measurements are perfectly accurate. You'll notice that the on the tape measure itself, the one inch is not a full inch. It's a little bit short. The reason for this is to accommodate for whether you're measuring inside or outside um, of a window frame or something else. So if you're measuring inside, you'll be pressing the end of the tape measure against the side of the window and by the metal piece moving backwards, that um, accommodates for um, the width of this metal piece right here. And that's exactly a sixteenth of an inch. Now, if you're measuring outside, you don't want to count that end because it's not inside of your measurement. So that end is going to shift out, allowing for you to take off that sixteenth of an inch. Number four. On the metal end of some measuring tapes, you can not only hook from the bottom to pull your measuring tape out, but there's a piece at the top that allows you to hook from above so that if you're measuring from below, you can still read your numbers to see your measurement. Number five, on some tape measures, you'll see that there's a little measurement on the back. This is actually the width of your measuring tape housing. So what you can use this for, if you're measuring inside a window or something else where you need to measure into a corner, previously you may have bent the tape measure and tried to guess exactly what that measurement is in the curve. Instead of doing that, you can get a perfectly accurate measurement by putting the metal piece of your tape measure right against the window frame, um, measuring to the edge, uh, put the base of your measuring tape against the other side, finding your measurement, in this case it's 16 inches, and then we're gonna add the width of our measuring tape, so that's three and a half. Number six, have you ever noticed little black diamonds on your tape measure, a little past 19 inches? What these are is they measure the standard spacing of trusses when you're building a roof. Number seven, some tape measures are equipped with an architectural scale on the back side. This allows you to measure blueprints and architectural drawings and get an exact measurement.